Are you having trouble connecting your smart home device to your Wi-Fi? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Hey, I'm Steven Love and if you clicked on this video, you're having some trouble connecting your smart home device to Wi-Fi. Have no fear, I have some steps to help you connect it. Smart home devices can be a great addition to your household. But if you can't get them to connect, then you'll never realize the benefit of even having them. You probably have a smart home device very similar to maybe one of these light bulbs from Fiat. But whenever you go to plug it in and you try to connect it to your Wi-Fi and whatever app you're using, it's not connecting. So the most likely thing that's happening is, is that there's two different frequencies that your Wi-Fi can be on. The 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz. The 5 gigahertz is a stronger signal in smaller condensed areas. But the 2.4 gigahertz is actually, it travels a lot better. It goes through walls a little bit better. We don't have to get into all the details, but we do have to get your smart home device connected. So here's what you gotta do. Go on your phone, put it in airplane mode, and then turn on just the Wi-Fi. That's the key thing. Once you're in Wi-Fi only mode, and hopefully you're connected to your Wi-Fi. If you're not connected, go ahead and connect to it with your password. Next, turn on whatever device you have. Make sure it's in pairing mode. Usually it means it's like blinking or something, usually like with these lights. Um, then, Go outside, I know it's weird, but it works. Go outside and start walking away from your house until your Wi-Fi signal starts going down. Once you get to the point where your Wi-Fi signal actually cuts out, then you're gonna wanna turn back around. When you get to that little spot right there where you first connect, just stand there for a while and you'll notice that your device will start to actually connect. Wait it out until it gets to 100% and then you're good to go. If you're sitting there wondering how this sorcery works, it's because you're about to press that like and subscribe button. I'm joking, but if you want to press it, then I'm not. But for real though, it actually just made your Wi-Fi switch from 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. Once you get back to your house, your Wi-Fi will switch back to 5 gigahertz and your smart home device will be connected. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there, but you chose to click on mine. Hey Google, turn on the garage light. Okay, turning on the garage light. <laughs>